Hey guys, it's Miss Carrier. Welcome back. We are going to continue learning about PowerPoint using the Imagine Academy. Uh, today's lesson is going to be the module three, file one, and there's only one file here in this cornerstone. So we're going to be working with all about apiaries. Make sure that you go and download this file. Guys, this is a video for those of you using a desktop application on a PC, not a Chromebook. If you're using a Chromebook, go grab the other two videos and watch those. Um, to learn how to do it online. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I've downloaded this file. I've renamed it with my name, and I'm going to start out here with the first step, which is to crop the flowers out of this beehive photo. In order to do that, you grab the photo, come up to picture tools, and use your crop button, and simply drag from the right to drop those flowers out of that, crop them out, click the crop button again, and you've now cropped that photo. Uh, it wants us to make the height of this photo taller. Let's see exactly how tall. It says we need to resize to 5.7 inches. So we're going to type 5.7 inches directly into the height box and press enter. And then it simply tells us to align this uh, basically using the one inch marker on this toolbar and the three inch marker here. So just make sure um, that both of those are right there in alignment, right about there. Perfect. All right, so let's keep moving. We're going to align the flowers at the bottom and distribute those horizontally. Um, so in order to do that, it's a pretty cool tool. You can hold shift to highlight each flower. I would suggest holding shift and not just dragging across them. And then you can align those at the bottom. So they're all aligned perfectly even, and then you can go back to the alignment and you can distribute them horizontally so that they're perfectly distributed from one edge of the flower to the opposite edge of that flower. Very good. All right, so now we're gonna go in and we're going to insert a new rounded rectangle shape on slide three. Make sure you pause me as you do these yourself. We're gonna insert a shape. And that's going to be a rounded rectangle. So we're just going to drop that shape in there. And we're going to copy this text right here. Okay, this B yard. An apiary is also known as a B yard. And we're going to double click this text box and paste it in there. And now that now it tells us that we're going to take all five rectangles and we're going to make them hexagons. So we can select all five rounded rectangles come up here to our drawing tools edit that shape and let's see move this back over here we can edit that shape and make them into hexagons and then we're supposed to resize our hexagons to 2.16 tall by three wide perfect so now we have five little hexagons and it tells us that we are going to arrange those to form a honeycomb on the right side of the slide. And then we're going to do some coloring um, on that in the next video. So to arrange those, we're simply going to take them. And the first one's going to be here. We're going to arrange that here. Bring this one down. Sorry, I came off that slide. Um, pull that one right there. Move me back over. And then you can position that last one. So you've got yourself um, the beginnings of a honeycomb. You want to align those as close as you can to, um, to look like a bee comb. Very good. So in the next video, we're going to learn how to color those in, do some shading, and a couple more tasks to finish out this apiaries um, presentation. I'll see you in video two.